know that this message is one that's not communicated by human wisdom. That there's nothing I can say to you to get your mask off. Because I've been trying to get my own off for a long time and it's hard to get off. Uh, this is a message that is dependent on the wisdom of the Word of God and the Spirit of God. And so as I was up last night, I was just praying, Lord, you show up. You know the masks that we wear. Uh, we, you know that there's nothing I can say tomorrow morning that is going to convince a woman that she can ditch her mask. But the Holy Spirit is here, and He knows that He wants to set us free. And how many of us, although we may have Jesus Christ in our hearts, and we know that freedom that He offers, to some extent or another decide that we want to stay in captivity? Yeah, how much of our ministry, how much of our family, how much of everything that we do is still playing the world's game? Because cap getting out of captivity is exciting and frightening at the same time. Now this, this idea of beyond the masquerade, and that's kind of the title that I use to describe what that shoveling of sand is like. We wear masks. Because what we're in captivity to, we're in captivity to our insecurities, we're in captivity to our pride. It looks good, the fruits are good, and many of you are in ministry and you see fruits are good, but you're driven by something. I want to be special. I want, I want to do something in this world. I want to please the people around me. Maybe even I, I, I want to please God. I got to do something to make myself feel valuable. That's captivity, ladies. And here's the truth of it. The power of Christ cannot shine through us as long as we serve Him in our own strength and for our own glory.